Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hiya, fit like. My name is Myra Murison and welcome to my channel. So today's video is another plant journal. But before we get into it, I just want to do an introduction regarding this series. I have been meaning to do this since last year, but I keep pushing it back for so many reasons. And as you all know, aside from prayer plants and the begonia collection, I also have other plants that are thriving and are doing so well. And I wanted to share them with you, my journey with them, and how I take care of these plants. So if you noticed, two weeks ago, I uploaded my very first plant video, which was Jewel Orchid Makad Spitola. I will link it in the description bar if you haven't seen it yet. So without further ado, stand by for more plants journal. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to notify you every time I upload a video. And get your tea ready. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Okay guys, meet my Chlorophytum commosum, also well known as a spider plant. I got this last year and it was just a small plant and now here it is. She is huge and thriving. I used to hate spider plants because of their brown tips. I thought it looked kind of tacky. That's why I keep ignoring the plant every time I bump into them in our local garden center. However, one day I decided to give it a try because one of my friends has one and her spider plant is doing very well and I felt a little abused every time I saw it. As expected, I was struggling with this plant. Brown tips are showing up and it wasn't a happy bunny at all. I moved this plant so many times just to figure out her perfect location. I even hung it outside to test it out. It was summer and it was hot so I did and it was a big mistake the plant wilted and looked like it was dying i only left it for a few hours and when i came back from getting messages uh the plant was almost dead so i rescued it immediately and put it back inside the house and hung it in my north facing window sill hoping it will perk up and survive and then the next day it had perk up i was very surprised i wasn't expecting it to recover so soon i was so amazed and since then i let this plant hanging here in my north facing window it is receiving decent light not bright but just perfect I was supposed to give this plant away to my friend. I had made up my mind that the spider plant wasn't for me as I was struggling taking care of it. So I asked my friend to adopt the plant and rescue it. However, I realized the more effort I had given to this plant, trying to nurture it and keep it alive, that I became attached and I didn't want to give up. So yeah, eventually the plant uh, started to show me some love and i was so mesmerized as you can see she is now huge and long super pretty it is getting wild the stems are so long and has babies and this plant is flowering non-stop and it's keep producing more stems and until now it's still not root bound i thought it was i only repotted this one same medium i use for my house plants and this is a thirsty plant I water this as soon as the soil is completely dry but sometimes I let this plant get too dry but it's still going strong it's unbelievable also based on my observation I think this plant like to be on the dry side because every time I water this the next day you'll see some yellowing and dead leaves so for me this plant doesn't like being wet or too wet again this is only based on my observation I fertilized this plant in spring and as you can tell it's doing very well. I have no plan to prune this at all. Uh, me and my husband want this plant to grow wild. It's very aesthetic although sometimes kind of annoying as the stems are in the way of our telly. And to propagate this plant, I guess you just cut the babies and plant them straight into the soil as they have roots already. But can you appreciate the beauty of this plant? She's very full. Cool. Once you find the perfect care for this plant, it will love you back. You just have to be patient. Like I said earlier, I was struggling with this, but look at this plant now. Isn't it cool? I like the white variegation of her foliage. That's why I picked this variety rather than just plain green. 
but don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with plain green leaves every plant has beauty of its own it's just a matter of connection between you and the plants if it makes you happy then go for it so that's it guys this is my spider plants journal like i said you have to be patient with this they said it's easy to take care of but you have to figure out how because i've been there and the struggle is real i'm just so happy and beyond excited how this plant turning into wild plant because my husband and i love this plant so much i like how this plant cascades and the babies are so cute this plant is giving me so much joy and it's flowering non-stop it's so cool and do you know what these are guys seeds maybe let me know because i haven't got a clue so right i'm signing off thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you find this plant journal helpful if not thumbs down either way it helped my channel algorithm so catch you later guys bye